So what do you do if you're an Indian and the whole world media and technology and space imagery is showing how miserable the strike of Indian Air Force on Balakot was? Well, that's what you would do. You would accept. But you ain't Indian, are you? So they stick by their fairy tale. They assembled all uniformed officers under one roof to portray themselves as PhD scholars presenting their literature, left their uniforms back at home so that they look like scholars and in each of their presentation they tried to validate the success of their spice launch that to them scored hits the whole blind world couldn't see, the satellites couldn't validate. In their attempt to create that festive environment, they called someone specially from the United States to present her work that would put a seal of validation on the Indian Air Force strikes on Balakot and made sure that woman hated Pakistan. They kept her to present in the end to give a befitting closure to the February celebrations. She waited the whole one and a half hours listening to the presentations of how the Indian Air Force conducted the world's best surgical strikes and how a vintage MiG-21 Bison downed the Lockheed Martin F-16 the next day. Her name, Christine Fair, worked with the US military and an Indian lobbyist in the United States of America who stated openly she hated Pakistan as she started speaking but stated that even though she hated Pakistan, she was sick of listening to the fiction presented by the presenters regarding how the spice bombs killed many terrorists without blowing up the whole structure as those bombs were designed to do so. But that building wasn't a hardened structure, was it? She said, and had the IAF thrown the toilet seat from the plane, it could have tore it down. The whole world doesn't believe India and Indians had been eluded by the military to foster their belief in the surgical strikes. On the issue of MiG-21s shooting down the PAFs F-16s she said she had hoped the Indian Air Force could have shot down 10 of them but not a single PAF F-16 was shot down that day and it makes no difference what the Indians thought. The world doesn't accept all the illusions presented there by the Indians. She said the MiG-21 Bison upgraded version early 2000s downed by the PAFs F-16 was far superior in radar, EWs and avionics as compared to Lockheed's Block 15 MLU F-16s operated by the Pakistan Air Force that had shot it down. She repeated her claims of being part of those Americans in the Pentagon who simply hated Pakistan but said it didn't and couldn't change the reality of the 26th and 27th of February. It proved how the presented spice weapon impacts and radar imagery of the F-16s were tempered with the world wasn't buying. The still imagery of radars showing in other pictures the F-16 missing, she said that the mountainous terrain creates the bounce back of the radio waves creating the effect of loss of signature and doesn't prove any actual loss. Even the video made of the locals talking about the downed pilot seems fake, she said. Christine was interrupted by some to get her shot so that the way she was smashing all the case of the Indian military establishment couldn't be halted. She kept on and didn't stop till she had totally decimated the whole Indian military portrayal of the events of the 26th and 27th of February 2019. You gotta be kidding me, I mean the Indian military establishment was dumbfounded and ran out of breath to stop that American woman they had invited themselves to share her own hatred of Islamabad and praise and validate their own claims of the success of Balakot strikes and downing of the PAF F-16s. But the Cobra they brought on their own expenses, all trip paid for to spread further venom against Pakistan just bit the Indian military establishment themselves. You gotta be kidding me, and you gotta be kidding me. I'm sure no foreign speaker would be allowed to speak on the February celebrations in 2021. Pro-Indian or not. Do like, subscribe and support Adil Azmat Cockpit.